Welcome to Orlando, Florida. This is the capital of douchebaggery when it comes to people with modified exhaust. It is totally legal to make your car as loud as humanly possible. Let's get right into this story before I get ran over. Got a doozy of a story for you simply for the fact that in my personal opinion, I'm wondering what's gonna be the resolution to this case. Allow me to explain. This man right here, his name is Terrence Stewart. He's 45 years of age. So this guy has been arrested recently for a home invasion that he did back in 2006. Now you're kind of wondering to yourself, well, that was a long time ago. Why, why did it take so long to catch him now? Well, I kind of don't know, but on November 4th of 2006, Terrence Stewart, along with uh, an associate of his, they uh, did a home invasion at a house over in uh, Shelby County, which is the area of Memphis, Tennessee, the biggest s-hole in the nation. So him and his friend, they pull out guns and they tell everybody to get down and they want the money, they want whatever it is that they're looking for. And one of the men... Well, he, he gives him a piece of his mind, so Terrence gives him the butt of his gun and pistol whips him, knocking him out cold. So he's out like a light. They drag his body to a room in the back while the other guy holds everybody at gunpoint. And then they start playing, uh, where's the money, where's the money? Now, as they're telling everybody what they want and everybody has a gun on them everybody's life is flashing before their very eyes the unconscious man comes to and he goes to his room and gets out a really cool sword kind of like probably maybe like the thundercat sword right thunder thunder thundercats oh this guy comes out into the living room to the guy that knocked him out cold and starts hacking at him with the sword well the sword found its mark because one of terrence's fingers was cut off in the process of him defending himself from that uh sword welding person so the two guys run out as they're firing shots at everybody so they're just trying to shoot everybody now as they're running out so they get away the, they call the police police come they see the finger on the floor and they fingerprint it and it comes back to one Terrence Stewart who at the time had a bit of a criminal record he had an arrest for selling crack in 2005 and an aggravated robbery in 1996 so this guy apparently uh, I guess you could say he jumped off the porch at an early age well so the question we're asking ourselves is this it took them 17 years to finally catch him now people are wondering why did it take so long to catch him well i was guessing at first that he had actually stayed out of trouble all right you sold crack you robbed somebody when you were 18 years old you did a home invasion robbery and then it appears that he had at least bare minimum no contact with any law enforcement officers in the memphis tennessee shelby county area so Either he moved out of state and just kept a low profile or he turned his life around and was not committing any crimes. Point being, there was a warrant out for his arrest, but he didn't get picked up on it. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that uh, maybe he just stayed out of trouble. So if I were the judge in this case, this is what I would do. Now, if this guy, and it could be verified that he has stayed out of trouble, for the last 17 years did not do commit any crimes has been a law-abiding citizen has held a job paid rent pay taxes all that stuff um i wouldn't give him any prison time if 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 i if it could be proven proven to me that no more crimes were committed after you got your finger cut off i would probably just say all right i'll put him on 10 years probation uh, maybe a thousand hours of community service something that takes a long time to get done and uh, That that'd be about it, right? That'd be about it. However If this guy 
has been getting in trouble and it's shown that he has been getting arrested but the warrant for some unknown reason hasn't been coming up in the system uh yeah i would throw that guy in prison for about 10 years uh, i think losing your finger and getting 10 years in prison i think that's a fair trade because this guy if he has been arrested after all of this that just kind of proves that uh, he is incapable of learning his lesson and uh, he's incorrigible or what is it called uh, uncorrigible something like that i don't know leave a comment below tell me what you think why is it so damn humid out here jeez breathing the air here it's like it's like smoking a cigarette all right guys i'm out of here next video is get, we're getting closer to icon park peace out